Hello, chemistry students. Today we're going to be performing our determining ascorbic acid and vitamin C tablet experiment. So the purpose of this experiment is to determine the mass percent of ascorbic acid in a vitamin C tablet by titration with a sodium hydroxide solution of known concentration. Let's get started. We first need to prepare our vitamin C samples. We're going to be using these nature made vitamin C tablets and we're going to remove one of the tablets and crush it using a mortar and pestle. After completely crushing our vitamin C tablet, we need to divide the tablet in half and record the mass of each half. The mass of the first half of the tablet that we will be using for trial number one is 0 0.3108 grams. The mass of the second half of the tablet, which we will be using for trial number two, is 0 0.3349 grams. We're next going to analytically transfer each half of our vitamin C tablet into a corresponding 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. And then we're also going to add up to 75 milliliters of deionized water to each flask in order for the vitamin C to dissolve. Now don't be concerned if all the powder does not dissolve, tablets contain various binders and fillers which may not dissolve in the water. While we allow the vitamin C to dissolve in the deionized water, we'll set our burette up for titration. I prepared our burette by washing our burette with deionized water and a small amount of soap, and then rinsing our burette several times with deionized water. I then rinsed our burette with five milliliters of our previously standardized sodium hydroxide solution, which is 0.09794 molar sodium hydroxide. I dumped that wash into the waste beaker and then I filled our burette with our standardized sodium hydroxide solution and opened the stopcock to allow some of that standardized sodium hydroxide solution to flow through the tip of the burette and remove any bubbles that may have been in the tip of our burette. Our burette is now prepared for titration. If you would like to view how to properly prepare the burette, please refer to one of the previous titration experiment videos. We are next going to add three drops of our 1% phenolphthalein indicator to our flask with the first half of our vitamin C tablet. We'll then swirl our flask and we're now ready to begin titration number one. We will have reached the end point of our titration when a pink color persists for 30 seconds while swirling. This is the initial burette reading for the titration of the first half of our vitamin C tablet or titration number one. We will now begin titration of the first half of our vitamin C tablet or titration number one.
we now have a pink color that has persisted with swirling for at least 30 seconds. So we have reached the end point of titration number one for the first half of our vitamin C tablet. This is our final burette reading for the titration of the first half of our vitamin C tablet or titration number one. We will now add three drops of our 1% phenolphthalein indicator to our second flask, which contains the second half of our vitamin C tablet. And we'll swirl to mix. And we're now ready to begin titration for the second half of our vitamin C tablet or titration number two. This is the initial burette reading for the titration of the second half of our vitamin C tablet or titration number two. We now have a pink color that is persisting after 30 seconds of swirling, so we have reached the end point of titration number two. This is the final burette reading upon the completion of the titration of the second half of our vitamin C tablet or titration number two. Okay, students, you should now be able to calculate the mass percent of ascorbic acid in the sample. This concludes our determining ascorbic acid and vitamin C tablet experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.